At just 13 years old, Alice Lee is taking the chess world by storm. Lee is currently ranked as the number one chess player among U.S. girls under 21, and she is already an international master elect, one of the youngest American women to ever be in the prestigious category. And Alice is joining us now from the St. Louis Chess Club. Thanks for joining us, um, Alice. So I have to, like, my base question is, because I think a lot of people know about grandmasters, but if you don't know much about chess, you might not know what this accomplishment means. So can you tell us, you know, what do you have to do to become an international master elect? Yeah, it's good to be here. Um, so international master is the title, which is right uh, before the grandmaster title. Um, and the requirements are similar, I guess, like slightly lower. Um, so to become an international master, you have to, uh, play in three tournaments um, where you achieve a performance rating above 2450 um, FIDE. And there's a few other requirements like the amount of foreign players you play uh, and the amount of rounds and temperature. Um, but that's basically the general um, scene. So if you achieve a performance rating above 2450, yeah. then you get what's called a norm. And you need three of these. Um, and they're called international master norms. Oh. Um, so and you also need to get a free rating of 2400 so there's a lot of requirements um right. but it, overall it's a title that i think is pretty hard to achieve i worked for like 1.5 years before i was finally able to get it wow um so when did you start playing chess and did you just take to it right away or is it something you have to really work at um yeah so i started playing chess when i was uh six years old and six. it was something that Actually, at first, I didn't want to um, play, but then, at, like, I was dragged along to the school chess club with my older brother, mm -hmm. and I found out that, like, I um, I was really into it after I started losing, actually, um, mm -hmm. and that, like, inspired me to play more and to stop losing, uh, and, of course, it took, like, a lot of um, work to be able to improve, but I found like, especially in the first few years when I was playing chess, it was more of enjoying it and then the improvement came rather naturally. So you I, I, you just brought up something really interesting to me because you, you said that losing actually made you want to play more, right? So I have a 12 year old and yesterday she was looking a little down and I asked her what's wrong and she said, dad is forcing me to learn chess. That's what she said to me, right? And I was like, oh, it's a great game. I think you should, you know. And she was like, no, I don't want to do it. So I want to ask you this question. How do I convince her that chess is a great game to play? Do you find that it benefits you even beyond, you know, tournament play? Yeah, so um, there's a lot of really good aspects of chess. One of the things that I really like is that um, there's so many people who play chess um, and, like, from all over the world. So it's really a universal game, no matter what you do, what languages you speak, um, where you live, what you do. It Like, anybody can really play chess. So as you, like, play in chess tournaments, you'll get to meet so many new people, and I think that's really one of the great aspects of chess. Another thing is that it's, like, a really beautiful game. There's, like, so many possibilities for a single chess game and you really see two chess games that are different so i mean uh, the same yeah. so i think that um overall like chess is just a really enjoyable game to be able to play and it's just another like chess is another game that anybody can play and you'll be able to meet so many new people and i think that's really great i think that's such a great observation because i always thought of chess as like an equalizer and a connector of people an equalizer because, you know, somebody like you, a 13-year-old, could sit down against, I don't know, a 50-year-old and annihilate them. Which brings me to this other question about your brother. You said that you were sort of tagging along with your brother. Are you beating your brother now? Um, yeah, he's still very good, uh, but I was able to surpass him like around a year ago. <laughs> you say that so casually. How does he feel about that? Um, I think he's good. He's like more, he plays chess more for fun, um, but he's still a very good player and he's like really helped inspire me and motivated me for a lot of um, my chess career. And then how about the kids at school and the teachers? I mean, do they have an idea of what this accomplishment is? And are you, I mean, is it cool? Um, I actually achieved this over the, at the beginning of the summer. Um, so I don't think too many people knew, but uh, a lot of my friends have been very supportive and also uh, my family. It's been really great to have achieved this, um, especially since uh, these people have been supporting me throughout my uh, journey and I was finally able to achieve the title.
All right, before I let you go, Alice, tell me about, you know, what your plans are for the future when it comes to chess. Where do you want to take this? Um, I guess it's, like, hard to see. In the long run, of course, I'd uh, like to become a grandmaster. Um, but, of course, that would take, like, a few more years, if not more. Um, so I think I just want to, for the short term, improve, work on improving my chess. And, um, and I will be playing in the U.S. Junior Growth Tournament, which... Uh, starts tomorrow so um i guess my nearest future goal is to try to win that but it won't be easy and i'm just really happy to be playing well listen i have faith in you if anyone can do it you can also you're going to have the best what i did on my summer vacation essay ever when you come back in september uh alice lee thank you very much thank you